complete. Give him a little twist. Come on, Rollo. Come on, Tara. You're not getting involved. Oh, here they are now. So keep the margin going and get the arms moving. Oh, he's here now. Bit of boxing. Bit of boxing. Why some curls? Hope you had a nice Easter. Didn't need too many chocolate eggs. Down there and up there. They're still looking at me like a bonkers. Five seconds. Right. Two, one, change. Quick transition. Turn it up. And right under. So it's low intensity, that's why I'm on my hand. If you want to make it harder, you go down on your elbow. But we had a few drinks last night doing some virtual golf. And so we're taking it easy today. Ten. Five, three, two, one, done. Good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna go down your elbow now. And you're still on your knee. And we're just gonna do some pulses like this. Okay, so straight leg, and you're gonna do 30 seconds each side. So off we go. So point your heel to the wall, really straight leg, and that little pulse. Okay, so get right into your glutes here. You may not be able to wear a bikini this year by the way things are going with Corona, but you also have to be ready for next year if you do stuff like this. Oh, it's quite sore now. Three, two, one. Okay. To the side. Straight into the side. Same thing. Really straight leg, point your heel. It's a lot harder than it looks. 30 seconds. Call this a little intensity. Hello? Fine. Two, one, done. So we'll start off with the bridge. You can do a minute on each exercise. So hit this club now. Keep me suitably confused. So the bridge. Breathe in before you do anything and then breathe out when you're up. Activate the glutes when you're up. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great exercise for your back, your hips, pelvis, hitting your hamstrings as well. There's lots of different variations with bridges. You could have a band around your knees, where when you go up, you stretch the band, or you can have something between your knees, football, cushion, and you squeeze in. Remember when you're squeezing in, that's Adduction, 
that's if you try and stop yourself going to the loo and when you're stretching out then that's really tight glutes okay so that's the bridge so now we're going to do the tilt it's a little bit more complicated to explain but I'll show you now so what you're going to do is when you're relaxed and you're breathing in and that's when I'll show you the t-shirt up that's when it's just space under your back so that's you relaxed so that's when you're breathing in and then when you're breathing out you're pushing your lower back into the floor so you can see how I'm tilting my pelvis so it's breathe in breathe out okay so your backside stays on the floor all the time so we am going to go for that for a minute so my arm there so you can see. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So really tight backside when you're pushing your lower back into the floor as well. Breathing's different for everybody as in what's one long breath out. Could be anything between four seconds, eight seconds. When you're breathing out, Abs really tight, backside really tight, squeezing your pelvic floor. That's it. Always breathing out with the effort. Good, 10 more seconds there. Nice low intensity exercise, but very effective at the same time. Okay. So that's pelvic bridge, pelvic tilt. We're now going to end into a dead bug. This gives me hours of entertainment in the studio, especially when we're starting with people who've never done it before. So it's a great core exercise, it's coordination, and you're going to get a big stretch in your body. So I'm going to do this for a minute. Okay, so I'll show you first. Hands to the ceiling, knees to the ceiling. You always have to have one hand and one knee up to the ceiling, okay? and you're going to be working the opposite sides of your body. So what's happening is you're going to do that. And then go back in. And then you're going to do that. And ideally, you don't want to be smacking anything behind you. So put that forward. Okay, so just to show you what tends to go wrong in the beginning is instead of doing that, people will do that. Okay, and also don't try and do it too fast. Okay, so we're going one minute. Okay. Breathe, breathe out that big stretch. But so far, hope you haven't had it. Like anything else, when you do it, the way you get the coordination. There's different varieties of the dead bug as well. But again, low intensity day to day, so we're keeping things nice and simple. Okay, that's one minute on the dead bug. So next, we're going to do a front plank, okay? Get cushion, your elbows. And we're going to go at 30 seconds. So I'm going to set this clock for 30 seconds. So front plank, just to show you, we don't want that and we don't want that, okay? You want to get a tilt on, okay, so you're on your elbows, tight back sides, squeezing your arms really tight and hold that. If you think there's wrong, your bum's in the air, get the tilt on. So see the difference? That's wrong, that's right, okay? If you can talk whilst doing a front plank, you are not doing a front plank, okay? So I'm going to hit this button for 30 seconds and not say a word. Apart from Obviously, breathe out, rip your belly button up through your spine. Okay. 
Okay, 30 seconds drum plank. Done. Right, we're going to do press ups, we're going to do dips, and we're going to do bicep curls. Okay, so start of press ups, we're going to do, in fact, we're not going to count press ups. Okay, so we're going to do two pulses, one full press ups. Okay, it's low intensity, so we're staying on the knees. And I'm going to count, so I'm not very good at talking whilst counting. So, 10 press ups, like so. Straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Okay, tighten your backside and your abs. So it's one, two, all the way down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, try some dips straight. Roll your shoulders back, arms really straight and locked. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. If you want to go hard, straight legs. If you want to go easy, bent legs. We're doing ten, it's low intensity, so we're going bent legs. Okay. One, two, straight back, three, breathe, straight forward, breathing. four, five, breathe out on the way up, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Keep you can do bicep curls, this is where you need your towel. So, get a nice long towel, get your elbows directly below your shoulders, okay, roll your shoulders back, really try and really stretch, really, really stretch that towel. Okay, you can do 10 reps. So you're in your squat position and you're just pulling up. So get that tension as one. So you can see through this direction, you're just pulling it. I know you can't see the resistance. That's two. So just keep it nice and slow and just keep saying to yourself, that's three, can I pull that tail anymore? Four, five. Just come back to the middle, six, Feel that pump. Seven. Very bacon. Eight. Give it two to go. Nine. And one more. And ten. Okay, that's the bicep curl it's done. Right, we're gonna do a four-point knee high. So you're down on the floor. On all fours. Okay. So you're just going to take your knee into your chest and back up to the ceiling. Keep your leg bent all the time. You do 15 on each leg. Okay, so right in, right up. One, two, three, four, five. Good bum sculpting stuff. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 13, 14, and 15. Good, it's basically 30 seconds each leg. Right, so now we're gonna go into a 30 second ski squat. So let's get on the timer. So you need a wall for this, obviously, and you want to get down the wall, hit your button, 30 seconds. Okay, so firing up your thighs, your quads, one 90 degree angle in your legs. Think mind over matter. Think breathing, meditative breathing. Seven seconds in through your nose. Hold your breath for four seconds. Eight seconds out through your mouth. You might not hit all these numbers, but it takes your mind off the legs. Okay. Then we got lower for that last few seconds. Good, 30 seconds ski squat. Right. 
If you have a band, step inside the band. They're a cheap and cheerful piece of kit. Don't take up any room in the house. And again, can be quite lethal. So we're gonna do glute pulses. If you don't have a band, this is low intensity, so just do it without the band. This leg slightly bent, this one straight, okay? You're gonna do, say, 20 pulses on each side. 20 stretches, okay? So one, keep your posture up, two, three, Four, try not to let the band go loose. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Of the leg again. It's about 30 seconds on each leg, so watch the clock this time. Good. Resistance bands are great. You can make it as easy or as hard as you want. Different colours indicate different levels of resistance. So what I'm doing just now is very easy resistance wise, but you just push it out even harder, even further. So. Okay, so that's 30 seconds. So now you're going to do ankle kickbacks. Drop the band down around your ankles, use the wall as a support. Do it again, 20 seconds each side, each leg. So you're just kicking it back. One, two, three. Band might ride up your leg a little, but you're still activating your glutes, your hamstrings. Keep your posture up. No idea how many I've done. See, that's 10, 11, 12. Try and keep yourself straight. Try not to lean over like I was doing there. That seems like 30. Okay, hold on. Okay, don't kick anything behind you. Could have used the band actually in the ski squat just by obviously putting it around your knees, stretching the band and just keep the stretch on. A few more, one more. Okay, that's the band done. Band's also great for like this kind of stuff. That kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, but we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to do calf raises next. We're nearly at the end. So we're going to do a minute calf raises. So just use the supporting ball. Legs completely straight. Don't fall over. And you're just pushing up off the ball to your feet. We're going to do that for a full minute. Again, lots of different ways to do calf raises. This is just straight at a good pace. You can basically hold it right up, squeeze in your calves really tight, slowly down and slowly up. You can change the position. You can go like hen toed. You can go ballerina style. Again, hands free, harder. Or you can just keep it there. So we'll just keep it there today. And you've only got one more exercise after this. Five seconds. Good, feel that burn. Last one. Finish off our workout for today. We're just going to do 20 squats, okay? So the best way to get a squat, lock your fingers at the back, shoulders right back, arms really straight. Okay, not going to do that, but that's the idea. Okay, so your feet hip width apart, down for 20 squats. One, drive it down, drive up through your heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, deep as you can, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 2 to go, 19, 20, done.